You want some alligator? Have you heard the saying low and slow? Video number 21, first one that I've done, Han Solo, Survivor Man style. Because my cameraman's not here, which every time I get him, I go a little bit into the hole. So whatever you guys can do to subscribe, share, it's greatly appreciated because I love sharing these recipes, love creating recipes, and that's what today is. We're creating one. Do I hunt time? Yeah, I'm smoking meats, meats. I'm making meats now. I don't understand. Like, I don't know how I fell upon this whole like category that I haven't been filled yet. It's history and alligators. Long story short, we shared it. Uh, the pictures were beautiful. A little seven pound gator. And when I took it off the rotisserie, it was amazing. Uh, just, this thing's falling apart, guys. And take the chicken, pull it apart. What was that almost five hours? That was four hours and 40 minutes. Drumsticks. If you like spicy, look at this tail meat. And what got us to do this video was the fact that we looked up alligator and rotisserie. And there's only like two or three videos of it. And so it's yeah. like, why not? It's like a tenderloin. This is kind of like something that we created. We have looked at the barbecue recipes and have created this recipe basically out of those. We're calling this the... Uh... The Creek Gator Chicken Turn. <laughs> the gator that we got came from uh, Louisiana. I'm gonna plug the company down in the description. Now I'm gonna use most of this garlic salt and this we're not doing measurements here. So season of salt, I don't want to use that whole thing, but I mean, most of it. Pepper, definitely don't want to put a lot of pepper. A couple of tablespoons, that's good. Oregano, don't really want a lot of oregano either. So, you know, again, just a couple of tablespoons. Got one paprika today, Got one paprika, half of it. And the only big difference today versus what we did yesterday was the fact that we don't have double the paprika but we are also gonna wrap this thing in bacon, y'all. It is gonna be, we put a little bit of bacon on there yesterday and it was phenomenal. I think it was probably some of the best bacon I think I've ever had. So without further ado, let's get this thing wired up. Get rotisserie. We're gonna mix up this seasoning and then we're gonna rub down our seven pound gator. I don't know why there are any rotisserie gator videos on YouTube. I mean, it just blows my mind. It's like, did I just tap a market that's never been tapped? I don't know. Am I that smart? I don't think so, but I've done the hunting, fishing, shooting thing for a long time, and now I'm gonna find my way to the kitchen for a little while. Believe it or not, there are a lot of things that cooking shows have not brought to the table or have not thought of, and we're gonna bring it. Stay tuned, y'all. Wildfire. As you all know, this coronavirus has been going around. And what goes better with a coronavirus than a coronavirus? What are you cooking? Yeah, that's pretty plain. 
is we want to season this. We want to rub this rub that we just made. We want to rub that all over this gator. Uh, you want to coat this alligator generously. That I just felt like, and we had two gators. I had two gators. So I felt like it was appropriate to go ahead and do the recipe. Like I said, Cajun based. But I pretty much created this all on my own. I mean, I, I used the basic flavors, but I didn't copy anybody's recipe. Yeah, look at that I like to run it through the mouth first. Dig it and stuff like that. We want to try to get through like part of the tail. Okay. You want to try to keep it centered. That's about as good as we're going to get right there. And you know, it doesn't, I mean, some people, they'll preach about balance and whatnot, but Guys, come on. I mean, it's just a little gator, a little seven pound gator. It doesn't have to be perfect on your rod. Yeah, as even as you can. You know, with all the COVID-19 stuff going on, this there's like a shortage of chicken right now. Just because it's really cheap. Cure this gator on here pretty good. So Tony's injectable butter Creole style. So we're we'll gonna take some of this and then we'll inject these chicken wings. What we did yesterday, we put some jalapenos in there. Yeah. As if, as if this one's probably not. Hot enough already, but get this thing sutured up. Now we're gonna wrap it with bacon, and that's gonna be awesome. And I got this other stainless because I ran out because uh, the bacon, putting the bacon on there, you actually got to wrap it a couple times. Yesterday when we did this, the skull came off. And the reason I'm not using an apple is cause the apple, after four some hours, it just turned to mush and just fell out of the mouth. So I'm using a lime and I'll stick a apple in there at the very end. And there we go folks. Let's turn this thing back on and get her going. So, uh, friend Greg has been pretty much like extended family. I've known him pretty much all my life. Yeah, I'm thinking well, I'm going to be the one laughing, you laughing. I'm laughing too, buddy. I'm out here with you. Get a little piece of this bacon. <laughs> <laughs> he 
lived in New Orleans for how long you live in New Orleans? That's another year. Long enough to kind of learn the culture down there? Pretty much, yes. But you never saw Gator for Tissera? Never have. Never have seen anything like this. What, what exactly does it taste like? I mean, it kind of tastes like chicken. Really? Is it tough meat or is it tender? It's actually like the tail has a lot of fat in it. Well, not not a lot of fat, but it, like it has more fat than you would find in like a chicken. Yeah. Uh, like the tail is the most sought after part of an alligator. So why is that? Just because it has the most meat. Uh, a lot of people don't, you know, mess with the rest of it. Why do you decide to use the bacon? Why do you? How do you come up with that concept? I got the bacon concept from the. Uh, gator barbecue recipes because mm -hmm. when they put the gator on the grill and they wrap it in bacon and it protects the outside layer of meat. Oh, okay. So this um, this, this is not nothing uncommon. No, and it, it adds a little bit of flavor. Appreciate you stopping by. Sure, sure. Always sure. good seeing you. Yeah. Thank you for the help today. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Appreciate you. It's like the brother I never had. That's right. The brother from another mother. <laughs> when you get political. I've had my dog for like, I don't know, I got her as a stray when she's like six months. So I don't know her exact birthday. She's about 13 or 14. She's getting pretty old. She's losing her hearing pretty bad. I love her to death. She is my best friend. Um, check this out. So I've been teaching her hand signals. And when I show you this one, she's going to get really excited. Because it means dinner time. Watch this. Yeah! You hungry? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, yeah! It's freaking that COVID-19 on me. Um, yeah, back to the, uh, back to the alligator. So, it looks ready. So the temperatures are high. Yeah, they're like easily 180. And it's getting really hot. So I'm gonna cut the heat back a little bit and I'm still gonna let it sit for probably another, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. I just wanna make sure it's cooked through. There's chicken inside this thing. So yeah, without further ado, let's dig into it. And your first alligator rotisserie how-to video on YouTube. I'm so excited. Uh, you can you can tell Miller's excited too. Uh, let's dig in guys. I'm stoked. Woo. You want some alligator? It's Easter Sunday, and I get a text like during the middle of all this, present this to you guys. You know, lo and behold, somebody from the past. You know, why do people want to walk out on you and then just automatically like update you on their life on like special holidays when it's probably the worst Easter I've ever had, honestly. Um, my family's not like really super intact right now, and just drop some good news on that person. I don't care to talk to you. I like, man, that's what Facebook's for. I know, your poor ears. Let's uh let's dig into this guy. I swear it's almost like caramelized. I mean it's almost like I added sugar to it. Oh wow. Kind of spicy. 
Whatever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I just feel really hot. Get spicy. This chicken is done. I mean, oh, it's really good. It's got a Cajun flavor to it. I mean, a handful of this. <laughs> Half a jar of that. You know, that's what this channel's all about. It's uh, easy recipes. Um, you know, if you miss a teaspoon or something, that's not going to be the end of the uh, dish. But here's the tail. It's really kind of fatty. It does kind of taste like fish. I don't know what fish, but it's like a white fish. Anyways, uh, I tried this out yesterday when the uh, head came off. And the uh, muscle meat is like... I swear that tastes like just like chicken. But there are certain parts of this. It's got a little more fat. It's a little bit more like white fish. I wouldn't say cod because I, I hate cod. I think it's terrible. So we appreciate your comments and you guys keep encouraging us to bring you new videos. Seriously, out of all the stuff that I've done on YouTube in the last 15 years, I'm enjoying this most. Like this is something like my parents can enjoy. The great thing about where I am, out in the middle of nowhere, is uh, you know, all these leftover recipes that don't get completely eaten. It's right back into the environment, into uh, the wild. You know, we feed the bear, the uh, fish and uh, I just can't imagine sitting that stuff in a trash bag and like sidewalk in New York for like a week yeah like at least here like all the stuff that we do gets recycled back into the wild wildfire appreciate you guys see ya well I'll see you again on the next wildfire video Every time I do these videos, I go a little bit further in the hole, but you know, like, you really need to silence your phone before you start filming. Um, okay, I'm just start over. I hope I didn't give this alligator COVID. I brought gloves. I brought gloves just to, like, pick this alligator part. And I didn't put them on. She's kind of flustered being on this rod all day long. Anybody seen the Tiger King? Craziest TV show I've ever seen. Uh, if you haven't seen the Tiger King, go check that out. God, I'm like that producer. He's like sitting there at the table. And he's like, and you would not believe I lived at the zoo for a year. My dog was scared to death. My dog's not scared. She's, she wants alligator. <laughs>